Hey everybody, it's Nick. I got a supplemental tutorial, uh, but it also could work as a standalone tutorial, and it's about uh, making mathematical services. Uh, at the end of the previous video, uh, I gave a method for making uh, mathematical services, and you know it works, but it was a pretty it was a pretty limited method. And uh, if you expect to make uh, more complex services, uh, especially ones that involve um, changing the coordinates of the x, y, and z simultaneously, you're going to need a little bit better. Uh, like structure for your for your code, um, but anyway, but the result would be something like you could take something like this climb bottle that I've got here, uh, and stick it into our canopy script and uh, panelize it, and uh, so that that's the kind of thing that we're trying to go for. So the example I gave you before was this just simple mathematical surface uh, script, and the way this works is um, I had a grid and and um, I get the x and y points from it, and then I have like a simple um, expression that I that I that I used to translate information from the X and Y uh, like to the Z. And this is a monkey saddle like equation. And it's a it's a particular kind of surface, um, but it's also kind of limited. And it's not the way that a lot of mathematical services that you'll find online um, are described. So if you go online, I recommended uh, like Wolfram Alpha, but you know, what if you don't know like what the services are called? Um, so you can, you can find examples like this, uh, like online, what we're looking for, like parametric services. And we, we have some familiarity with like parametrics now, um, but you're looking for those surface equations and you can find this uh, thing like this, where you can go in to say the Mobius strip and it'll be defined in terms of three equations. There's an X, Y, and a Z. So that's just everything up to the, to the first kind of comma is X. And then the second one is Y, the third one is Z and it's plotted across a domain. Uh, in the U and the V. Remember, U and the V on surfaces, you can think of them as X and Y, but in terms of that surface. So, like, the domain would be 0 to 2 pi and uh, negative 1 to 1. And uh, so how do you how do you plug that in to, to Rhino? Well, there's actually this really nice uh, um, uh, code that uh, I got online from uh, Codeit. And uh, basically, it's this it's this uh, really nice program where they've already got equations kind of built in, and there's like a drop down list, and then you can adjust the like parameters. They kind of start off kind of small, but you can adjust the parameters of the surface, the subdivisions to kind of change the details of them. So it's a really nice structure, but it needs a little bit of unpacking. Like the way that it works is. They took all the formulas for these equations and put them into these lists. So the equation for uh, the first one on the list, Klein, is a very famous you know, thing like like a Klein bottle, right? Like a self-intersecting bottle, um, is all the equations in the zero row. So this is the zero equation, the y equation, the z equation, and then the like domain it gets plotted across is here in the zero and the zero. And all this does is basically this drop down just chooses things from the list. And then plugs in the equations into x, y, and z. This is different than the expression editor. It's called evaluate. So you have a u and a v, and then you have the the, the uh, function. So instead of having to use the expression editor, you can actually just put it into a panel, which is kind of cool. X, y, z are points, and then the, this this component takes a list of points and constructs a surface. Um, it does need a U parameter. It needs to understand, you know, like how to interpret that data. And so you can see here, we have 17 subdivisions here. That gets translated to a U of 18 because we're counting from zero. So there's a little bit of expression here that just says X plus one. And this gets your surface. You bake this or whatever, and you're going to get your surface. Um, so that's So that's how that works. So what I've done for everyone is modify this slightly so that if you find an equation for something online, like example, even this thing, look at all this, like gobbledygook here for X, Y, and Z, plotted across negative uh, 13 to 13, negative 38 to 38. So you can take that information and translate it into Grasshopper with um, this code that I made. It's called math services explicit. So just go ahead and put your function in here for X, Y, Z, Type in your domains. And the way you type in a domain is you go number two number. You can see here, you can actually do two star pi. So that's two pi. And then your subdivisions are here. And that should work the same as the uh, as the uh, code.it script. 
uh, but you don't have to you don't have to worry about all this stuff. You also can try other things um, besides you know these that are already built in. There's tons of formulas out there that you can look at. Again, you're looking for parametric service equations. You can find an image and then find the equation, and you know you can get a sense of the syntax here. This is this is a little bit easier than the other the other tool we had. Um, if you're super 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 stuck, that's okay. Just go ahead and use this code. Use the code it uh, code. And go ahead and output a surface and then plug that into your uh, canopy script to get something really cool. All right, I'll see you around.